I'm gonna tell you what's going on, okay? I'm gonna tell you what's going on. Cause I don't know if you guys know this about Mexicans, okay? We have secret meetings every week. <laughs> secret Mexican meetings on how to trick white people. <laughs> and I've been going to those meetings the last two weeks as a double agent. <laughs> I've been gathering information from my fellow whites. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys know this about Mexicans. They're like the Beastie Boys. They're very crafty. <laughs> Thank you, six people that got the, my favorite part of that joke. I fucking, I love that part. I wrote it down. I was like, this is very clever. No one laughs at it, but it makes my heart happy. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what's going on. I'm gonna tell you what these Mexicans are up to, okay? We're going to build the wall, okay? All along the United States-Mexico border, we're going to build the wall. And on this side, the good side, the Merca side, the good side, the Merca side, and I said it correctly, M-U-R-C. <laughs> and on this side, the bad side, oh, we don't like that side. Ah, mustaches, burritos, and bandidos. Ah, we hate that shit. Mexicans are currently constructing medieval catapults all along the United States-Mexico border. <laughs> and they're gonna put 82 Mexicans in each circle because they're little people in the fit. <laughs> and on this side, the good side, the Merca side. <laughs> all right, fucking relax, asshole. This isn't a goddamn rally. <laughs> You're gonna have rednecks with shotguns. Oh, no. And the rednecks gonna be like, pull! And then 82 Mexicans are gonna go over the wall to rain terror down on the United States with their love of baby Jesus and family values. Ah, oh, we hate that shit. Ah, get that delicious burrito out of my country. Ah! <laughs> then the rednecks gonna see all the Mexicans and he's gonna get excited. He's gonna shoot one of them. And the Mexicans are gonna explode, and then candy's gonna come out. <laughs> Which is gonna distract the rednecks because they like sugar and diabetes. <laughs> and then 81 Mexicans scurry into the United States. <laughs> and everybody wins. Yeah. <laughs> try to distract you from what they're actually doing, you know, they create these boogeymen to try to distract you from what they're actually doing, which is taking your money and your rights away. So, uh, what did that, was it a couple years ago? It was Muslims. Goddamn Muslims coming over here. ISIS is. ISIS is. I was like, fuck, there's two of them? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought there was only one terrorist organization. Now I gotta worry about two? Oh my goodness. Now it's Mexicans. We're kicking all the Mexicans with the caravan coming over here, invading our country. Like, look, man, if you want to kick out all the Mexicans, I don't give a shit. Kick them all out. I don't give a fuck. I was born here. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. You kick out all the Mexicans, you're going to go to Ralph's and wonder why tomatoes are $28 a pound. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, why are tomatoes so expensive? It's like, because Dylan is picking them. <laughs> trying to think of like the widest name I could think of. It was like Dylan or Austin. But I figured like Austin's parents would have some Illuminati money. Yeah, he won't have to pick shit. 